Hey guys, welcome back. So, I thought I'd give you an update on where we're at with the frames and the drawing, which uh, if you haven't uh, gotten to be eligible or a part of that drawing yet, I'll leave a link in the description of the video that uh, go watch and uh, it'll give you all the details at the end of the video on uh, how to be eligible for that. So I was going to give you guys an update. So, we... Uh, Everything's good to go. We're just printing it right now. Uh, I made my final modifications to where set screws go and everything like that. The one major update is, is since I, I wasn't able to lock down the safety pins that I was uh, looking to get a hold of to produce these frames. So these frames will be coming out to you without safety pins, but everything else to get the grip panels mounted on, the triggers put into place, you'll get a trigger pin, you'll get the set screws for the pins, and you'll have the safety hole where the ball bearing, the spring, and the set screw, where that'll come threaded so that you can get your own safety pin assembly, uh, which will give you your safety pin, your ball bearing, your spring, and your set screw to be able to install your safety in. Or you can go and run your frame just like without a safety. And then you will get your hardware, you'll get your solid studs that go into here, and then you get your hardware for your grip panels. You will get your frame and you will get your grip panels on both sides. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Um, as you can see, this this one printed. This is the very first one that I was thinking I was having issues with, but it ended up turning out all right. This is probably Gen One. A lot of changes have been made. Like I said, I filled that gap in there. Uh, what we're looking at is we'll be sending out black frames. They won't have this matte finish. I've been trying to print uh, the giveaway frame in this matte finish, this carbon fiber black. Um, things are just being not agreeable with the machine. And uh, so we're gonna go with the more reliable uh, PLA, PHA. Uh, it won't be this color, it'll be black. Uh, if you want it in this color, no problem. I can print it in this color. Uh, that is the natural. Uh, but we'll go with the black PLA PHA in the frame. It's very strong uh, What we will do is we will I will be printing off the triggers in the carbon fiber so that we get that stiffness that we've got going on and uh, No issues. Uh, I have one up on Shapeways that you can buy if you want But if you take a look Let's see get my face out of there. If you take a look we've got a little bit more flex in this one not a, not a lot it'll still provide the safety I've ch I've tested in the frame that I have the section that I had printed that this will not fire if you have your safety in place and installed correctly uh, but this one does have a little more flex at the bottom so if you want to you go ahead and go to my Shapeway store which is under RKM 3d designs and you can order one of these as well but uh, your frame that you order will come with the carbon fiber with the magnet installed. That's another thing I forgot on the frame. In the top of the frame, your magnet will be installed. When you order, if you don't want that magnet in there, it won't come with it. But every frame will have a magnet installed in the top of every trigger that comes with the frame will have a magnet installed in the, in the top of the trigger. So if you don't want the magnet in the frame, it'll come with it. Just pop that sucker out and you don't need the magnet. I just thought I'd give you guys that update on what's going on there. I've got a couple uh, frames test printing right now. I'm running a few things, seeing how, how it goes. And uh, the drawing will be next Sunday. And uh, what will happen is I'll take all the names that uh, were on the video that will be linked in this video to go if you want to be part of the drawing just watch the video it'll let you know how to get entered in there and uh, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll write every name down I'll do it in a video and we'll draw one name out of a hat 
And that person will be the person that gets the uh, giveaway frame. And so that's just a frame that's already been produced that works and tested and everything. So there's no special things you can get done for it. It's just a frame that works and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, what else? I figured I'd use this video to let you guys know. Let's see. I've got, uh, these are very simple, simple parts, but, so, got EMAC battery tops. I've been producing these for as long as can be, but these are available. I just printed a whole, a whole stock of them. Uh, I also, let's see if I can get it put together. I do, I have available as well. Um, and I'll make a video on these uh, so that we're not clouding up these, but I figured I'd let you guys know what's going on. But uh, if you can see there, there's no, it's all solid one piece, but it's the EMAG battery pack. Um, I'm selling them as cases. We've got the top. They do mount up. Let's see here. They do mount up to the, uh, the EMAG frame. But uh, this goes right onto the, the dovetail in the front. Goes right to the top. The thumb screw goes in just like a normal pack would. As you can see, everything's nice and flush on top. And then the nice thing about these is I'm not making battery packs that are just all plastic. So they they are of course made of plastic but in these you can see that there are I have metal nuts in there in this hole and then also on this hole here that when you take your screws you put them through the bottom since this is two pieces now one piece here, one piece here. Put your screws through. And let's see if I've got the right Allen key up here. Put the screws through. And like I said, you're not threading into plastic. You're threading into the metal nuts that are in the top piece. You're essentially cinching together a pillar. And there you have it. So these are layered plastic, so if I just gorilla grip this or torque this hard enough, you'd split the layers here because that's how it's built up. Built from the ground up, like this. And so you have layers that are going across. So if you smash this sucker in half without a battery pack or anything bracing the inside, it has more than a chance to crack. So selling these as, uh, as cases, storage cases. And if you want to run them on your EMAG, I run one on mine. Um, that way, if you have a nice anodized pack like the one over here, let's see if I can get you guys so you can see it. I run one. I always take this when I run this out. I'll take this and uh, I'll take my pack off here and I'll just run a plastic pack. Uh, that's uh, two color fades. So you've got your blue to your yellow fade. You've got dust finish here, gloss finish here, and then it's an acid wash with a purple. So. I'll always just take this. If I want to run this one, I'll take this off, and then I'll also put in my uh, my special breech here, so I'm not bunging anything up. Sometimes I'll run this one, but uh, that's to give you an idea. Uh, I've never had any major issues with the uh, with the packs breaking. Of course, smashing into a tree or something, they're probably going to break, but. Uh, you know, or I should say they have a good chance of breaking. But uh, they, they house the battery just like any normal battery pack. And uh, that's about it that I've got going on right now. I've got my 
normal ULE stock class snap-on ones as well but uh, that I offer so that you can put a CCM feed tube in and use like your ULE body on a pump setup and uh, feed your mag that way but uh, yeah the update is is that we're going to be running a PLA frame PLA PHA frame which is going to be just as strong just just as good as this carbon fiber material we're having issues with it uh, coming out and I'll figure that out down the road or I won't because the material that I'm going to use is going to be just fine for this frame with the bracing that we have in place and the the curves and, and non-sharp edges so we should be good there uh, but like I said if you guys want to be part of part of the giveaway for this frame I'll link in the description below of where of, uh, of the video to go watch and uh, it'll explain what's going on there and it'll give you an update of what we've been doing with this frame so far and there's also the other videos that uh, are up on the playlist that you can check out so you can follow this if you haven't been following this stuff so far but other than that we've got frames printing uh, I'll do the drawing Sunday night which is let's see I of course don't know the date take a look here so Sunday night the 18th I'll be doing the drawing at uh, I'll be doing the drawing, it won't be live because I won't have the ability to really do that. So I'll be doing the drawing, I'll upload it around probably 8, 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. So Eastern Time it'll be 9 to 10 o'clock is when I upload it. Most people are on Eastern Time that I've, I've come across. <laughs> But uh, Central Time, 8 to 9 o'clock, Eastern Time, 9 to 10 o'clock since they're an hour ahead. And uh, then you guys will know who who won the, uh, the giveaway frame. And then once that happens, then the frames will be available. I'll mark it up. I'll put it up on uh, the forums just in case anybody wants to take a look at it. I'll put it up on the Facebook group that I've been updating with this. And... Uh, We'll start sending frames out to people who want them. Uh, anybody who orders them, we'll get them out to you. And then from there, we'll move on to the next frame project. So I'm still working on the warpless rotor if you guys are wondering about that. But if you guys do win, take a look, take a chance, watch the video if you win, and comment down below on the video if your name was the one that was drawn so that I can get a hold of you or that I can send you my information so I, you can get a hold of me so that I know where to ship your frame uh, because I'm not sure through YouTube how that works but my YouTube I, I can give you guys my uh, my uh, email but uh, if you can somehow contact me or put a comment in down below of the drawing video then uh, I'll get you the frame if you are the winner and then uh, we'll just go from there. Just like with any video, if you like the video, like it. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Uh, if you want more notifications on projects coming up, new frames, the warpless project I'm doing, I've got these uh, direct mount uh, wedges I'm working on. I've got some basic ones that work. If you just want to keep track of stuff that's going on or what's new and what I'm coming out with, uh, Hit that subscribe button and uh, smash that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Maybe something you like is coming down the road. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.